How about now? Can you hear me now? I never changed any of this, so um, I don't know why it uh, decided it wouldn't end. There actually is no sound off of the project right now, so. Um, yeah, that's that's really weird. That's, that's actually pretty stupid. You should be able to hear me now, right? I, I have no idea what the hell happened to all that crap. Ah, yeah, um... Had a major problem with my power supply, and what happened was, uh, it was nice that we've lost all the freaking audio for 30 minutes of video. Um, but thank you for telling me, by the way. Uh, yeah, the power supply kind of crapped out, and I couldn't do anything. I try to run Unreal Engine 4, any game or anything like that, computer would shut off. So I bought a new power supply, exact same make and model as the one I had in here, just to keep it simple. And I also added another hard drive in because I kept running out of hard drive space. So, yeah. That's all I did was I added another hard drive and I replaced the power supply. And for some reason, it, all my settings got screwed up. And, yeah. Ugh. Anyway. So, yeah, I, I created a copy of this guy right here. See, the default heal amount is 10. And let's change this to 50. If we hit play... A little on the large side. Kind of need to go back in there and um, fix that. <laughs> but the whole purpose was to um, have damage that ticks away because you've hit fire, you're now on fire. No, this is just a project I was kind of screwing around with. I wanted to see what it took to uh, set up fishing animations and that kind of stuff. Plus, you know, to show how to convert Mixamo animations to Cinti Studio um, characters and that kind of stuff. So let's throw that down over there. Um, if you've got any questions of how anything is working so far, like being able to pick up fishing pole, throw it down, um, is that in, and ha having physics on it. So if I walk over here, yeah, you know, I could do it on mobile. I just I'd never have. So I just threw the fishing pole over here. I have to jump in the water, come over and pick it up. All these characters and stuff, all this stuff will work on mobile. I just haven't done anything. I'll set up the um, to where when you get in the water, it'll change you over to a swimming animation later. But also, whenever you go into the water, I'm going to have it to where the sharks will... Fish coming at me. Um, the sharks will come over and attack. Yeah, I've got all of the uh, the polygon stuff and all the simple stuff. Love Cinti assets. Really good stuff. Ah, crap. Just walk right through the fire again. Yeah, I just wanted to have, like, physics for that and that kind of stuff. Uh, pardon the sniffles. Tis the season, right? So we're going to take this one. Instead of leaving it at 50, we're going to put it back at, like, 30. So by changing the um, the amount that it heals, it changes the size. Still some tweaking we'll have to do on it, but... I like some of the simple stuff. Um, but when you get <laughs> really cl clicked into the uh, the polygon stuff, it's kind of hard to, to want to go back, you know? <laughs> I'll sometimes mix both of them. I think once I get it all done... But should I keep it multiplayer or single player? Because, you know, like right now, if I just hit um, save all, save selected, I go into my UI folder, not HUD, widgets, main menu, and I should come back out, go to maps, this is island one, I should come back in here, go to graph, Because this is, right now, it's currently using my uh, simple multiplayer Steam template. So that it works off of Steam. So that wouldn't work for um, mobile. But I could set it up single player, and it would be a lot easier for me to work with. So I'll have to come back and, and um, replicate everything in here. And I don't really want to, but 
you know, for a single player, I don't have to worry about all that. I can knock out a single player game a lot faster than I can do multiplayer. Um, so yeah, if I come back over to the maps folder and main menu map, play a standalone game, it would look kind of like this. I don't have Steam running, so it's going to give me an error. So since Steam is not running in the background, it's going to tell me, go connect to Steam, dummy. But if you, are, you do have Steam running in the background, this will actually show your Steam username and your Steam avatar. It will actually download those from Steam. Yeah, that would be cool too. Plus it will show the little pop-up right here saying that, you know, Steam this or whatever. But if you hit single player, it goes into the map. So you just go right into playing. And eventually you could, could have different maps instead of just this one here. could set up to where you see a guy on the raft floating by or, you know, a, a pirate ship going by or whatever. And change to any other characters. Hit escape, go back to main menu, and go to multiplayer, host, host a game. Now your buddies can join you and you can fish on your little desert island. Um, I made this um, system right here and this is my primary sole source of income right now for my toys and everything else um, let me actually go ahead and, and uh, do, 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 Steam. I'll throw Steam into the background here but I made this um, it's what I call my simple multiplayer Steam template and what it is is it allows you to build a project that is Steam capable multiplayer right off the get-go with a basic menu. Yeah, I love the ships in, in the pirate pack. So close and close. Now that Steam is actually in running in the background, they hit play. Oh, Y'all got a part of the sniffles, I'm sorry. There we go. Steam username and avatar that I've never changed the avatar on. Access Steam community while playing. So now, with Steam running in the background, I can't sell it on the marketplace because you use a third-party plugin. So I just sell it via my my Discord channel. You send twenty bucks U.S. currency through PayPal, and I send you a link to download it. There's some problems with the 424 version, but 423, 420, whatever. A lot of the other versions work great. Um, but that's a problem with 424, not with um, my setup. I will eventually get it, you know, after the first of the year, I'll get it fixed, but for 424. But currently it works for every version up to 423 with no problems. But it gives you this blank basic menu right here, and the click sounds, uh, everything you see to get you going with just putting this as the, the backbone of your your actual project. And exit game. And you can change the menu however you want, do whatever you want with it, but let's go back to island map and select the viewport, so we're back here again. And I think there's only one spawn point as well right now. Yeah, so I'm still working in single player mode, but what I want to do is set it up right now really quickly to add a a thing so that whenever my player walks over here and has the fishing pole equipped it will put him into the fishing idle animation it uses the um, the advanced sessions uh, plugin it, the, the plugin is free to download so it's not and it's the link is actually in the the Unreal Engine freaking forums on their website so it's not like it's something that's out of the ordinary it's available free for anybody to download um, but this little setup that I made actually works using that. It requires that to work. So what we need is go to my... Let's get rid of some of these folders here. Into my gadgets folder. We're going to create a new blueprint actor. I'm just going to call this for right now. I don't know what else to call it. Um, fishing underscore location BP. All I'm going to do is add component of a box collision. And then I'm just going to move that box collision up. 
and I'm gonna uncheck for right now hidden in game and I'm gonna drop this into the map so now we can see the box so we can line it up and know where it is I know that I want it right here at the middle of that Yeah, with, with Android, you can avoid using the, the Steam stuff, and actually create the stuff a lot easier. So there, we know that this is going to be right here in the middle, and that's good. As soon as I step into this box, we're going to do something. Let's hit Save All, Save Selected, and then we'll go back in here and then uncheck Hidden in Game. Or recheck hidden in game. So I want to get rid of everything here. Right click on box, add event, on component begin overlap. My player is player underscore base. So I want to cast to player underscore base or cast to our player character. And then as that, we want to get a few things and check a few things. Let's go to my character folder, blueprints player base. This was the, the burn damage thing. Um, left mouse button is for casting. It checks to see if you have a pull and if you can cast. Um, F is for um, throwing the pole down. That'll change to a much more complex system if you are able to pick up other things like fish. Um, so, for right now, can cast is the thing that we want. So we'll go to our fishing location and just set can cast. And we want that to be true. So now we can cast. And what I've already done is on left mouse button, it checks to see if we have the pole. And if we do, it checks to see if we can cast. And if so, it's just going to say casting. And then it's going to set can cast to false, wait three seconds, and then allow us to cast again. So you can't just sit there and spam cast, is what that was doing. So now, if we go in here, save selected, hit play. If we walk over to this box, we can't do anything. So let's grab our pole. We now have the pole. Walk over here. And you can see in the upper left-hand corner, it just says cast, or casting. And you can't spam it, so you got to wait three seconds, and you can cast again. So now what I wanted to do is actually set me in a different animation. Cool, yeah. Just check in with my Discord channel, and you know, if you got any questions, just ask there. I've got a general UE4 channel and a help request channel. Just use either one of those two. Um, if there's any little cool things I've got in the BBG underscore demos for Beefalo Bart Gaming. Um, it has, um, for example, um, a try before you buy on some of the, uh, the the packs there. If the links are dead, it's because I'm moving things over to itch.io. Yeah, the, uh, the link for my Discord is in the video description. It should be in the video description of all my videos. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in there so it's a direct link so that you can go directly to it. Thanks for stopping by. And yeah, um, I'm going to get back to changing this. So, player location. So, we're, we're able to control our player, what the player does. And what I want to do here is also do right click at event on component end overlap. So grab that guy, put it in there. Connect object to other actor. So we can there we go. I see ya. Um we can tell it to do things to whenever we leave that box. So for right now, let's just go ahead and just see if we can trigger an animation. I don't have any montages set up or anything just yet, but we just want to set an animation. So let's drag off from here. And then... Um, 
No, that's not what I want to do. Um, let's, um, we don't want to do set movement mode, because that'll, that'll actually stop our character. Um, play animation montage is where I'd want to go. Um, I just want to go ahead and set up an animation. Play animation for right now. I'm just going to do that, have it play the animation. It's not the right way to do it, but I just want to have it do something. Since I don't have any sound right now. Um, I have got to get rid of some of this stuff. In fact, let's do that. Compile, save. We're done with the pedestrian animations, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that folder. It's going to take just a second. So we don't need all those animations now that we've converted them over to the uh, those NT characters. <coughs> it's going to avoid showing all the animations whenever I, I do the, what I'm doing there. Uh, it has been a fun-filled couple days. Fun-filled couple months. Christmas was nice. Nice having family down. My brother and his two kids. Love my nephews. Both of them good gentlemen. Can't call them boys anymore because, hell, the youngest of the two has already joined the frickin' army. So, you know, not exactly boys anymore if the youngest one's in the army. The other one, I won't say what he does for a living, but it's a good job for a decent company. And I'm proud as hell that he's managed to get his first job and stick with it. So, still gonna call them boys because they're they're my boys. You know, I love I love my nephews. They're both great. All right, so that's gonna take just a minute to, to clear up. It may or may not fully delete. I'm gonna have to go back into the uh, the actual file manager and manually delete them. So we have to wait for it to do its thing here before I can continue. You know, Streamlabs has changed again. Every time I turn around, they've changed something. And I hate it. I really do. While it's being a pain in the ass, audio, fizzle, I'll have to d dig up a um, sound of the ocean. But while I'm waiting on this crapple and I hurried up, it, I'll be looking for some, some sound files. Uh, do, 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 fizzle. Some music. You know, good. For now, I'll use that. But what I'll do is I'll create a, another video just on audio cues and stuff like that again. And um, I'll add some background music. Well, some background sound. So what really got me started on, on thinking about this project right here, of fiddling around with the, the fishing stuff. Uh, would you hurry the hell up, I'm Real Engine 4. Um, is... Now, the, the full version of the game, or the full alpha of the game, is actually on Steam, I think. But it's um, Raft. You're on a raft out in the middle of the ocean, and you have a grappling hook you have to throw out and reel in stuff like um, planks of wood and whatever, you know, pieces of metal and palm fronds that you need to make into um, uh, reeds and such. Originally, the game was released on, on another platform, and it was free, and anybody could play it. But now that it's actually on Steam, it's actually multiplayer. It was made with Unity. Sorry to say. But, um, yeah. 
it's actually a pretty cool game, and it's a, lot, a little bit more fun if, if you actually get the actual version. Oh, you're almost done now? Thank you. That's so why I hate deleting folders inside here, because it takes forever sometimes. When I could just absolutely just drag this in and delete it there and be done with it. That's what we're waiting on, is for this to hurry the hell up. So that's why I was looking for sound files. Oh, I knew what I was looking for. So I actually go into Unreal Projects and I'll find one that I know that has starter content. Not that one. Um... Yeah, this one does. Anyway, I'll write that crap to finish up. And starter content, go in here, got audio, and they're already U asset files. Technically, this is not the best way of doing things, but this is how I'm going to do it without actually having to add starter content to this project. I just want a couple things like the sound files. Um, so, what I can actually do is grab all of these and is in the, the clock demo content starter content audio so we'll come back over here damn it you're not done yet thank you and the folder is still there by the way so I'm still gonna have to go back in there to that project and manually delete the stuff go to assets new folder audio and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of these, but I need to go ahead and open up the fishing project, content, assets, audio, and then grab all of these and copy here. Quote unquote, I'm doing air quotes like you can see what I'm doing here because I don't have the camera turned on. Um, but yeah, it's not quote unquote the correct way of doing this. I can hear the Air Force Base playing taps. But close enough and it works. So let's actually see if the starter background queue works. Nope. So by doing it this way, if you look, output none. So, what you gotta do is just find this um, looping wave. Let's grab right here. Or you can create your own this way too. So, you get your modulator and your mixer and everything else. So, you had three audio files. So, you got. Um, wind. Three different winds. Birds. So let's throw birds in here. And what else do we want? A um, couple of different winds. Screw it. Let's just try this and. Even though there's a modulator in here, probably would have been easier just to create my own. One five, one six. Mm, it works. So uh, back to what I was doing here. Um, animation. What I wanted it to do was fishing idle. So right now it's set to play this animation whenever I walk into it. And then whenever I leave it, I want to go back to a standard animation mode. So, and this is going to be kind of janky at first, but just wanting to see something and get something working and then we'll come back and fix it. Um,
No, we want unarmed. So we're going to force it to come back to the standard animation class. So it's going to be playing this looping animation here, and then whenever it's done, it's going to go back to this. Whenever I leave that circle, it's probably going to be janky as hell, but I don't care. Um, all right, so it puts me in that, and then I walk away. That's fine. But I want to make sure that it's only going to do that if I have the rod in my hand. So it's setting can cast. So let's grab this guy, and we want to throw in a branch. And with this, we want to ask that question of, we'll just move you over here. And if the answer is yes, then we can do this. But the question we're going to ask here is, do we have the pole? What is the one I'm looking for? Get has pole, and if the answer is yes, we're going to connect to here. So if they don't have the fishing pole in their hands, it's not going to work. It's not going to do anything. So we walk over here, and it doesn't do anything. Come back over here, it's fine. Grab the fishing pole, walk over, and you can see it is kind of janky because you can move around a little bit, but nonetheless. And we'll still got to fix the animation too. So then, when we do the um, the casting, then we want to to actually perform another task. Uh, and there's just so many different ways you can actually go about doing this. Um, you can play an animation. Which we need to fix the the pole because that's going to bug me. So let's go to our animations, fishing, fishing idle, and what I want to do here is kind of zoom in, pause the animation, go to the skeleton tree, main hand is the name of what we got here. So I gotta make it look more like he actually has it in his hand. And close enough there, but we want to bring this down just a little bit and in. All right, so we did that with the animation keyed to zero. And I'm just going to hit key and apply and. There we go. So let's hit save, close, and hit play. So now we'll grab our fishing pole, come over here, and there we go. But now we're holding on to it. Doesn't look as dorky. <laughs> it does, but not as bad. The trouble is, this is not being the best way of doing it. Like I said, we'll have to make some changes to it. And, um, do some animation blending and it'll take a lot of extra work to get to, to actually be correct but as long as we're in this little box here we're going to play that animation there now there's another thing I'm noticing here look at how much distance there is from here to here so again we're going to pause the animation all the way down here since there was no root animation, you typically would want to do that and add that in there. But let's bring it down. Hit save. And for some reason, it is still hovering. Well, also still hovering on the, um, whoa, hello. Interesting. 
Oh, fuck you, Unreal Engine 4. Anyway, we're past the one hour mark. I guess that was its way of saying, you know what? Enough. <laughs> you know, of course, the first 30 minutes we had no freaking audio. Don't restore. Kiss my ass. Maps. Um, island. So, nothing. But let's actually look right here. We're actually still hovering on the dock piece. So, you can see it extends way down the water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the actual model itself. And let's look at the collisions. Collisions, simple. And that's part of the problem there is that that collision box is actually the only collision on it. So let's lower it down. Let's see if that helps a little bit. Still a little bit above, but not bad. So let's actually grab the fishing pole and see what happens now. Yeah, still hovering. Um, go to the characters, animations, fishing, fishing idle, root. Yeah, see, it's still right there. Um, so let's do that again. Pause you, go back to zero. Bring you down to here. Key, apply, save. Let's hit play and see what happens. All right. Now what happens when we go into here, grab our fishing pole, come over here. Mm. I have to tweak it a little bit more and bring it back up just a hair, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. But then we come back over here. And why is it... I guess because it crashed. It didn't keep my freaking settings. Pause. Frame zero. Main hand. So, close enough for government work. Let's actually undo, recheck that, which at 180 degrees. Yeah, see, this animation is not going to be great for me. So let's go ahead and hit save, but for some reason is not. There we go. Let's try key and apply, and then save there. Now we lost our freaking height again. Fishing idle. Red zero. Root. Key. Apply. And now... Everything looks like it's what it's supposed to be. So when we hit uh, to cast... That's where we want to go ahead and, and set it. But you, get out of here. No, get out of here. So yeah, we can't go into that mode again. We can't cast because we have no pole. We have to actually have it in our hands. And walk back over, and now we can cast. 
So again, right now it's just saying casting. I haven't set the animation to it. And so there's a half dozen different ways you could go about doing this. Set up an animation montage. You can set it up to run um, in the animation blueprint so that whenever you click left, you begin casting um, and that kind of stuff. So there's a bunch of different ways you can go about doing it. You can just play the animation or, or what have you. So that's that. Get out of my hands. Throw it away. Any questions on anything so far? Oh, um, yeah, I just noticed that. I don't know if you guys caught that, but yay, you're going to fucking crash one more fucking time. You piece of shit. Welcome to Unreal Engine 4. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Cinti Studios, you can get them from the UE4 Marketplace or directly from their website. Um, Cinti Studios has a metric shitload of really cool assets. Um, they have their simple and their polygon stuff. Zimpy, where the hell have you been away for so long? Now, let's see if we can do this without crashing again. Yay, and you completely lost all my fucking animation changes. Delightful. So, what I just noticed here is I threw the fishing pole away, so when I hit F, it's put me in that animation. So, we'll have to go back and create a whole new thing there. Um, but I am not going to go through and change everything all over again just for that. Um, if you're not familiar with any of the, the Cindy Studio stuff, which you should be, um, they're freaking amazing. Let's go to the demonstration map. It's probably going to take a minute for it to load all the, um, the shaders and stuff, because I haven't loaded them in on, on this, this project. Yeah, pretty much, you know, whenever a team kept being you know, wishy-washy and people joining and leaving and joining and leaving... So you know what the hell with it, you know, I'll just keep selling my simple multiplayer Steam template and, uh, you know, try to make some other things that um, people can use towards their projects. Um, so yeah, this is a, the demonstration map for for this. Let's go to world settings, change it to third person game mode, and I'm just going to come right over here and walk around. We're going to hit play. This is a freaking awesome asset pack. A little on the bright side, though. Um, so, yeah, everything you see in here is all Cinti Studios and the same asset pack. Um, the fountain, the the city here. Um, I'm going to have to look. I don't think you can actually enter these buildings. Of course, the doors are closed, so you can't get in anyway. But... You get the water, you get um, some boats here. Mission building. I don't think you can enter these buildings. but And of course the demonstration map is just for, for looking at as the water doesn't work or anything. Um, all the, the, the foliage, you know, the cannonballs, cannon there. Yikes, went too far. I could back out and just fly around. Kick-ass pirate ships uh, of different types. Um, yeah, just really cool freaking asset pack. You got, I mean, a bunch of different ships, dock sections, you got fortifications, you've got all the rocks. I mean, everything you see in here, including the, uh, the clouds and the sky, are all part of this asset pack. Really cool. Um, you know, for some of the, the asset packs, if you go into my Discord channel and the uh, the BBG demos, there, I mean, I've got uh, a bunch of different stuff that's linked in there. Um, you can actually 
any of the TB4 stuff that's in here, like TB4 Farm Pack, if they don't work, it's because I'm trying to transition all of them over to itch.io. But what the um, the TB4s are, let's actually quickly look here. Um, maps, materials, your meshes. Inside your meshes, you get um, all these different building pieces, 127 different pieces here. Uh, that's kind of hard to see because they're such small thumbnails. Um, characters, and one of the reasons why I love this freaking pack is because it has the fish and the shark. And they already are animated, so all you have to do is just give them basic movement, and you can have a shark. The fish does the same basic animation. So you can add fish and sharks and stuff like that in, which I've already done on my little island map. Lots of characters. I mean, lots of characters in this pack, too. My favorite's going to be the skeleton. I love the skeleton from this pack, too. So if we hit play, because I don't have a player start in here. Um, I just chose to be this character. I can go into my, um, my player character. A lot of my freaking videos, I show how to retarget these things to the different animations. The first part of this video, unfortunately, my freaking microphone wasn't selected for some idiotic reason. And the first half of this video, don't mind the camera sticking to his head. Um, and that's the, the spawn location for where he throws things down, by the way. But if I want to change the uh, the character, I mean, all I'm going to do is go right here. And I can be any of these freaking characters I want. English captain. Governor. Soldier. And just because I have chose this one, uh, you can also change the material. And let's go to... Zero two, and it'll take a second to, to redo the shaders here, but I can change the almost all of their their skeletal meshes have multiple materials you can apply to them. So you got A, B, and C, and then you got two A, B, and C, three, four. So you got different characters you can actually change around. Just hit compile and save, and now we're going to play. I'm that character. So my favorite is a skeleton, though. Let's click on mesh, skeletal mesh, skeleton one. This is my absolute favorite character. I don't, in fact, I'm just gonna leave it on him for right now. I love this little dude. <laughs> and this is just one of many of their freaking asset packs. Um, but stuff like the TB4 on each of the different packs that I was doing, they have uh, other things that I've made active. Let's actually save all, save selected, Let's go back to my map really quickly, hit play, and we're still the skeleton. Yay. Let's throw that there. Walk in the fire. And it starts killing me. We don't want to die, so let's grab a first aid kit or a health potion. Um, oh, I was going to show you that. So you got sharks swimming around. I haven't added the swimming animations or anything in yet. You got fish and you got sharks swimming around. What I end up doing is changing it to where the sharks, if they see you, they will come at you, and then whenever they hit you, They'll just take a chunk out of your ass and, and, and hurt you or kill you and force you to get back on the island. Of course, I haven't set up the raft to work yet either. The, um, so get ready to get out of this. You see all the different projects that I've been screwing around with. Um, one of the latest projects that I had that's, you know, fully functional is, um, the build demo, which uses somebody else's stuff, which is um, was a free asset pack from the marketplace from Diffuse Studios. Uh, let's see here, build demo. Let's catch the rest of you guys up on on some of the stuff. You just run in. This is multiplayer, fully functional multiplayer. This is available to download um, through the BBG demos. It's actually the last entry. It was put in on Christmas Eve. Um, it was before my frickin' power supply totally crapped out. 
but you can play single player and has a working save game system as well. I didn't change anything else, you still got your main character. Why are you being sluggish? You see, it's very, very simple. I, I, I did not add anything else in. This was just a demonstration for their asset pack. But you can see I've got a, um, a building put together already. So we'll walk over here and take a look. But you can actually build all these different pieces and stuff. Why is it being chunky? It's never chunky. Open the door, walk in, and set up some different rooms. I don't really care for their animations, but, you know, whatever. You know, the columns and supports and wall sections and stairs and I have no idea why it's being chunky right now. But with the save game system, you see that was from my save game. Um, hit escape, go back to the main menu, and this is available free on my Discord channel right now. I'm going to host a game here, I'm just going to call it whatever, make, and come in here and poof. Alright, why didn't it show up? Oh, because I probably don't have a save game for it. Um, so if I come in here and hit F and pick a foundation piece and build the foundations. This was um, free last month or this month? I don't remember. F, let's actually put a door frame in. And let's go ahead and put a uh, window frame here and here, and let's put wall sections in, after the first of the year I'm going to start working with their um, their actual survival game kit again, they've got some pretty good updates on it, uh, let's put some stairs in, and let's put in that. Awesome. But I don't like the wood. But, okay. So, let's add in one more thing here. Let's put a little ramp section in. And let's put a door. And let's put in window shutters. So you can build a nice little uh, log cabin. Or you can come over here and upgrade to stone. One side. Um, you can also put down a um, F key, put down a plot pole, hit R key to rotate. Claimed. Let's go in here and holding down the Q key gives me the. Um, yeah, it's not that bad. Well, once I start actually messing around with it, I'll actually um, uh, do it while I'm streaming. To show the whole process and fix things that they have that's, that's broken or, or what have you. So yeah, you, you get the point here is you can do your, your full upgrades and yay, and there's much rejoicing. Now I did leave, if you watch up in the upper left hand corner of the screen in this version, I did leave it to where whenever it says, boom, you see, it's good timing on the snap, right? Um, it shows you that it, things were saved. So if I hit escape and go back to the main menu and go back into single player just for giggles and boom, whenever it um, loads, I put a timer of like a, a second or so to make sure that it gets a chance for it to load. It says buildings loaded, loading buildings, grids loaded, loading grids, and then, yeah, don't know why it's being sluggish. So that was my single player. You see, it's totally different from... Oh, resume game. At some point I need to, to make it to where when I hit escape um, I can hit escape again and this menu closes. I just haven't done it. You see nothing else there. I left this little dirt strip here just to kind of show that hey this is the spawn location where players spawn. And I don't know why it's being sluggish. So if I can hit escape, go back to the main menu um, multiplayer host make and poof and the thing about it is, come back in here, 
Um, I'm still working on fixing it to where the identification it gets put on there. Even though I'm the same person that built this, I can't upgrade anymore. So if, as I keep messing with it, I'll actually tag or or, or put an identifier like an owner that is based off of the Steam player username or Steam username so that whenever you do it, it'll actually know that Beefalo Bart is the owner of this wall section and he can come back anytime he wants and upgrade it. See, I can't open that. I can't open the door. But if I come over here to the claim pole and hit that, hit the E key, and up. Now I can open that and open up the shutters. But I still can't upgrade. But for some reason, I can upgrade that. Oh, well, okay. So I can upgrade these now. So, yeah, by having the plot pole down, it allows you to... Um, see, I can't do these because they're out of range of the plot pole. So I guess I'm going to have to extend the range of the plot pole so that um, you can just reclaim with the, um, the pole. See, I can't claim those. But, yeah, what do you want? It's free. I made this in, what, an afternoon? Just screwing around? But you get the point. But this is all saved. Once it hits that, you see that blue... Well, I'll change later is um, the range of the, the plot pole. Another thing that I'm trying to do again was to save the information of... Okay, I own this because I put this down. And where it says claimed, I want to change that to where it actually says the, the player's name on it. So if you walk over and you'll see... Oh, it's b Flow Bart's pole. So if I hit escape, go to the main menu... And if I go back in and play a game again, and host. Now, since I've hosted the game, and this is in my save game, if you join me right now and play, you'll see all this. Everything is cool. You can leave and come back. It's all fine. But if you make your own multiplayer game, you won't see this because it doesn't exist. Um, so, yeah, that's... Get, try before you buy the TB4 is for a lot of the different asset packs for Cindy Studios. I'm going to get back into making them all over again or, or making sure all of them are on itch.io. Uh, there will still be free to download, but it will prompt you for a $2 donation, which I encourage you to give me all your monies. But you don't have to. You can get these free. So this was... Um, unfinished but it was meant to just be for it works don't get me wrong but you can't kill the bots I never did make it to where the bots would engage in combat but you can right click and aim and reload and right click again to unzoom of course, you, you can't look at yourself to see what gun you have. But he's got the 1873. Um, made it to where you, you find a safe and you can change weapons by hitting 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I don't know why, but their, their sawed off shotgun always seems to, to cause a slight pause. Four is a regular shotgun. Be nice if you actually see what you picked up, but yeah, you can change different weapons. It worked for shooting at each other, but now it gets the bots. Is so anywhere you find a safe? Just hit one, two, three, four, or five while you're in front of it, and it changes your weapons. But this is a Cinti asset. So you can shoot these guys how you want to, and it doesn't do anything to them. I just never finished it out. Nobody else said anything, so I never finished it. Plus, Red Dead and Redemption came out, so... Red Dead Redemption 2. But I'd do dumb things like, you shoot the bell and it would, um... would ring if you give me enough time. That's actually not Cinti smoke, that's uh, another smoke um, particle effect. 
but this is their demonstration map modified slightly. Usually whenever I'm messing around with this map here, I've got um, one of the, uh, the the guys playing piano, so you walk in, you can hear it. There's ammo pickups and health pickups if you're, you're injured. And I forget the asset that I used that was the, uh, the shooting mechanics. But, pretty cool. Main menu, and let's see. Um, let's see. I've got so many other projects that I've started and just never finished them. Because if I don't get any interest in it, then I'm just, whatever. Nobody else wants it, then I don't care. Uh, I started doing Diablo, and uh, a remake of Diablo 1, but with kind of a, a different vibe. This one, I think, Zimby, you might remember this one. It was just kind of screwing around with some of the different um, aspects of the Sinti packs and stuff like that. So you got pedestrians sitting out in the roadway, and, well, there's a car coming. Really, really piss poor setup for the car. <laughs> Uh, but you had food you could pick up that um, if you were injured, then you could actually pick up the uh, the hot dog or the taco or the, the drink. You had um, hunger, thirst, and health. You also had money. You could pick up the money off the street. And if you got hit, ugh, just playing with ragdoll stuff. I, I don't even remember what the key was to freaking get back up again. Remember that um, you try to move, you watch the player's hands. <laughs> I'm actually controlling that with the um, the forward key. Oh, you just had a cop. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was just something that I was screwing around with. Um, all of my music is from Technoax. Uh, royalty free music and pretty good stuff um, cruise ship is one that we never did get around to finishing Diablo is not functional we're trying to, to recreate a version of the uh, the character stuff um, Fortnite hey this one I thought more people would get into this and I just didn't get enough interest in it a Battle Royale with the Cinti Studios Battle Royale pack and a Battle Royale template. And I figured more people would want to play this and get into this. It's an actual working Battle Royale game with Cinti characters. You're like, okay, this is your character here. You can change your character. And then, okay, I want to... I didn't create this menu system or this right here. But, well, I, I did the background for, for the thing. But I didn't actually do all of this stuff. Um, but if I host a game, you can set up, okay, it's mode is solo or whatever. Um, duo or squad. So, yeah, you can do it that way. Max number of players, minimum players. Um... D-Day Beach and Sinti Island. I had two different uh, maps you could choose. Um, set my name right here. Let's highlight that. Get rid of that. I'm going to be Beefalo Bart. Name has been set. Connected players. You can join in. This all works. It's multiplayer. It works just fine. Um, hit host game. No success. Level loaded. Then you can wait for other people to join. We're going to try to set up a chat system to go with it, but never got into it. But low level. No, it's not dedicated, but whenever you're hosting it, it's not Steam based either. So you don't have to have Steam installed, and anybody can just join. They'll see the game and join in. But since it's saying waiting for players, 
I don't even think I got a project anymore. I have to look. Um, this is like the little starting area. All you got is melee. But since there's no other players, nobody else is joining right now, um, there's no way of doing anything. But you can have two primaries, a pistol, a melee weapon, you can pick up uh, grenades, armor, backpack, inventory system, everything else, and it's a full battle royale in multiple different ways. So if I do this, exit the lobby, and host game, change it to City Island. Um, you can set up for LAN, friendly fire, on or off. Um, host game, load level. Said anybody can join without having to have Steam background going or anything else. It worked. We tested it all out and everything was good. So this is the uh, the other version. Again, there's no weapons. I could add weapons into this area, but you can't hurt each other. And there's blocking volumes to keep you from getting out of the area, the starting zone. But on the other side of that island is the actual um, Cinti Studios, uh, what do you call it, uh, Battle Royale pack. Their demonstration map. And buildings and weapons and grenades and all kind of cool stuff. But what will happen is with the asset pack that this was created with. <coughs> cancel. Um, it offered the plane method of deployment where the plane flies over and you can deploy out that way or this way right here since I didn't want to use the plane on this version um, uh, as soon as <laughs> you get enough players in it'll auto start and then when you set the minimum players so if you set minimum players to like 10 or 4 or 3 or whatever and as soon as there's enough minimum players it'll wait for a short time and then it will go ahead and do a countdown and start the game then you just teleport to the playing area and you go until the last person's left alive you can see on the upper left it says players alive one um, it'll show you the player count of how many people are still left alive you got a compass up on top you got a mini map you know all kind of cool shit and so you can do the plane insertion or just spawn on the map version um, you can have the, the circle, where the big circle comes in. If you're outside the circle, you take damage. You can have that, or you can disable it, either one. Um, so yeah, it, it was a cool thing, and it's fun. But I stopped working on it because I didn't have enough interest in it. And if I want to be her, I can be her. I can just change my characters, you know. I could be a good girl if I wanted to. And if you know, like this right here, the IP address of the game, that kind of stuff. I didn't do the multiplayer on this one. This is somebody else's template that, that was combined with Cindy characters and weapons and that kind of stuff. But, like I said, if people don't show interest, I don't continue. But I called it Fart Night. Instead of Fort Night, it's Fart Night. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, TB4. There's town. TB4 farm pack. If you want to create your own farming simulator or whatever else, um, the TB4 farm pack, I just added a few little novel things to show kind of what you can do with it. Um, there's so many things you can do with the assets to, to make your own game. But single player or multiplayer so you can walk around with your friends and check it out and see what's what. That's why I created the TV4 systems. You get people just kind of like hanging out, chilling. Scarecrow dude's kind of creepy. Got Jethro with his beer cans and cigarette butts. I love what's happening to me. Hubba Anyway, um, so yeah, I added in um, like working sprinkler systems to where they, they rotate and do the particle effect. Some of the crops were set up to where uh, since the plants have multiple different stages 
what I was doing was, if you watch the corn here, the corn is actually growing at random intervals from each other. And they'll just keep going through the different... You see nothing, and then you see them start sprouting up, and gradually getting to different models. Now they're at, after this stage, they'll start getting even bigger, and then they'll get to the point where they actually are fully developed. Forgot to turn off collisions on them, so you can kind of get stuck in there. So you get the point of the, you know, just the different vegetables growing so that you, diff you have different states on them. So you can actually see, I think I did the same thing with um, tomatoes. That's broccoli. What are these? Yeah, these are actually growing at a different rate. Ah, quit spraying me down, you son of a bitch. But we'll, we'll come back to those. But they'll actually, no, those are carrots. All right. There's the maters. But the tomatoes will sprout up, and then they'll get the, the fruit on it, and then it'll be ready to harvest. A dust particle coming off the combine. It would have been cool, though, to actually have the, the this thing spinning and be able to kill you. But didn't want people dying when they're walking around checking. Oh, same thing. This is um, watermelon or pumpkin. I think it's um, watermelons. So the vines grow, and then it'll get to a point where... They'll keep changing state, and then they'll actually grow pumpkins. You'll actually see the pumpkins growing up. Don't know if there's a... All right. Um, scarecrow pole, like the cross, without um, the scarecrow on it, where you could walk over and hit E, and then you'd be on the cross, like a um, throwback from Hitman. But yeah, the whole point of the TB4 packs were to let people get in here and check out the uh, City Studios assets. Walk around, check them out, go into multiplayer mode so you and your friends can walk around and see. There's a chainsaw. Um, you know, I could have made the tractors functional where you walk over to them, you hit E, get in, and you see your character on the tractor, you can drive it around. Same thing with the pickups, I just didn't do it. So the, the whole point of this was to, uh, what is wrong with some of the collisions? But just to show what you can do and what the models look like and the environments. Of course, you can hit the V key to go into first person mode. V is in Victor. There's a collision issue right there. I love Cindy Studios assets, but you're gonna have to fidget with some of the uh, collisions. Uh, yeah, but other than that, I love the packs. Broken down vehicles. Like with all of them, the vehicles you can change the colors on them just by changing the material. Different farm equipment. Like I said, you can make things work however you want to. Make them drive and that kind of stuff. But... but that's that one. Menu, exit. You see I use that freaking simple multiplayer Steam template on everything. Town pack? Absolutely love town pack. Um... Kept on load up. Can you guys hear the background sounds of the music and stuff playing? You can hear on the menu, you can hear clicking sounds and music. Alright, so you can get with these, you can go single player or multiplayer, and you could be a pretty girl. Um, one of the versions, I don't remember what happened to it, I actually had the fire truck where all the lights were on, and, and the red lights were flashing and that kind of stuff. Usually I throw like um, a skeleton inside the uh, the fire the dump truck. So 
Griffin. Hold on, shift key to sprint. Bitch, close the damn freezer door. What's wrong with you? Born a damn barn? Some people, I tell you. What? I didn't do the benches? Another version of this I had set up to where there was, when you walk over to the bench, you hit the E key, and you could enter and sit down in the, uh, the chair, or the bench, or whatever else. Get out my damn way. had these chairs set up. I had the toilets set up where you could sit down on the toilets. Um, another version I actually had that you can see the reflection on the TV. I actually had a, a music video playing on the, um, the TV. But any chair that you found you could sit down in. I don't know what I did with that version though. I had that chair turned around so you could sit down on it. I actually had uh, something displaying on the screen on the computer. So you can come over here, and if you found the toilet, you could actually um, sit down on the toilet. Um, there's a swimming pool in the backyard. You can hop in the pool. All right, who didn't flush? You nasty bastards. <laughs> stand on the float or you can and this is not that version so apparently this was the older version where you can actually stand on the water and yep, in a different version I actually had this truck where it ran into this pole the pole was leaning over and there was sparks coming off of it and you know sound you could hear and I had this door open where you can go into that building and this one and when you came over here to this guy and stood on it, it would actually start turning the um, trampoline. When you jumped on the trampoline, it would actually bounce. You get the soccer ball, it would knock the soccer ball around. Yeah, all kind of stuff on another version of this. Um, if you came over here, there's a swimming pool over here. And. It's just going to walk all over the top of the water. You can actually get into the water and, and eat right here, plus all these chairs you could actually sit down in them. And I had a table set up with a stereo system over here. And yes, collision issues. So this is an older version. Um, and it was actually playing music, and if you get too far away from it, you couldn't hear it. I forgot I did that. Shoved a truck over here. <laughs> I try to put a little Easter eggs in here and there. Yeah, the whole point was to, to go through and do all these different um, asset packs so that you could actually test them out, walk around. Switch tutorial project. Test package, that didn't work. Drains, town, farm. Yeah, with the um, survival game kit, um, I'll be doing more with that after the first of the year. I've shown this one a couple times, and I mean, I can make this available, but it was just a couple of us testing around. You see the screenshot I took, left a freaking crosshair in there. I don't have a save game set up in this yet, and I'll put out a whole, I'll, I'll build a whole new version of this from the ground up with my multiplayer system in it, and just whatever, you know, furnace, you can do all your crafting and that kind of stuff. Um, hell, I can't remember even how to play the damn thing, but, um, but you can do all your crafting and weapons and shooting and combat and that kind of stuff. Oh, it's because computer's being stupid. <sighs> Hello. Wake up. Main exit. But yeah, that's I've shown that in other ones. 
couple different versions of this. This is one that I was working on that was actually going to be a released item, but this was just the, the demo area for that, where the theory was, while I'm doing a live stream, or while another YouTuber is, or Twitch streamer or whoever is doing a live stream, they would have this as a place for people to come in and screw around that could do scavenger hunts or what have you. Like a lobby area, you know, just kind of chill out, just do your thing. You know, you come over here and just have a seat, chill out. Um, these are teleports. Boop. Room one would be like combat. You notice I'm red now, so I'm in combat. But as soon as I, I leave the combat arena, then I go back to uh, out of combat. So room one will be that, and go to room two, and it's just normal. And go back to the lobby, or I go to room three, whatever. Just transfer back and forth. Um, there's a lobby up there. It's room two. Go back to the lobby. Go up to the loft, and the loft would end up being just like a, a restaurant where you could sit down in chairs and just get away from the the nonsense of the combat and everything else. You have um, different emotes and so forth. Um, I don't have the emote system in this one right here, but you could do different emotes like waving, saluting, push-ups, sit-ups, things like that. Um, so yeah, that was the whole purpose of this. It was, you know, this is just a demo map where you can walk around and check things out. And peek down in room two, you can walk down and combat out of combat. In combat, out of combat. So what I was trying to do also was it um, finding out if I am an admin or I am a VIP or whatever, you would have a different character. And what I was doing to test it with was um, let's go to main menu, multiplayer, host, an admin or a specific Steam username. Like in this case, Beefalo Bard and the the you know, the number form and all. I'm going to be yellow because I'm the the admin or a moderator or whatever that's selected by a specific username database, and I would have to probably do SQL database for it, so that you could add or subtract people from that without actually having to to rebuild the entire game. But essentially. Um, Anybody who has access to that list, you know, if, if you're an admin or whatever, you're going to be yellow, or a moderator would be yellow. And if you went to room one, well, you went anyway back to combat mode. And if you went to a different room, you'd go back to being this color. Where if you're a client or just a normal player, you're going to be white, or you'd be a different player model or whatever else. So it would actually change based off of. Whether you're in combat, everybody's going to be the same combat model. Run around, be a dumbass, shoot each other. But as soon as you leave, you're out of combat and you have a different character. So you can have like a soldier character for combat mode. And when you're not in combat mode, you're a pretty girl or a guy or whatever else. You can maybe select your character. There's a lot planned for this, but the whole point was having a, a playground. Because, you know, if you look at Twitch chat... I'm old, I'm grumpy as shit, and I complain about everything, and um, I can't stand watching Twitch chat. When you got 10,000 people spamming emojis and whatever, it just annoys the living crap out of me. And instead of them spamming chat, let them run around and be jackasses in my game making me money. This you know to be able to play it, you got to pay five bucks on Steam to be able to, to to have access to it. And okay, so maybe what if the um, the YouTuber themselves wanted to sell access to it? Um, they could charge ten dollars, but I'm gonna make five. They're gonna make five. That kind of stuff. So you know, I make money. The YouTubers make money, and the the viewers, the premium viewers or whatever else, can run around and be jackasses. That kind of cool shit, right? So that was my theory on that project. And I'll, I, that's what I want to continue working on. So I want other people to jump in and kind of help out with that.
SG starter kit. Um, that's not done. The Polygon Pirate Pack. And. I'm trying to remember what half of these are, you know? So this has been a hell of a good video. The first 30 minutes had no freaking audio. Thank you to everything else that caused that. But thank you to somebody for spotting it and telling, hey, dumbass, no audio. So I was able to fix that. But What was this project here? So this, the, this last hour has just been kind of goofing off. Oh, this was something I was working on for somebody else. This is uh, the Polygon Dungeons pack. Love this pack, too. Um, you got all kind of different knights and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what it is with the um, these crystals, but they're really freaking bright. And that's just the, um, the texturing on it and everything else. It's not like it's a light attached to them. Yeah, you get chest. I never did finish doing anything with this. You know, could make it where the you could open the chest if you wanted to or what have you. But with the timeline feature, let's see what else we got here. Well, the big bones, a big critter. Um, I like these little torch poles too. Try to go through and open up all the freaking doors, because whenever Cinti makes their, their stuff, they tend to um, leave all the doors closed. That's kind of cool there. <laughs> Not sure what those chambers were supposed to be, but you know, Iron Maiden. It'd be kind of funny if you walk over there and say, hey, look, look at me, I'm inside there. Then somebody else will be able to walk over here and hit a button and close it up on them. Really cool asset to pack, though. But what I try to do in all the, the TB4 packs is actually go through and open up the freaking doors. And sometimes I forget some, like this door over here. These are closed. And there's stuff back there. Um, let's see. Like that. That's closed. So you can't get back there. There's stuff you can see back there, too. This is the throne room. We'll go in there in just a second. You got the throne room and chandeliers. I love this asset pack. I like a lot of their freaking asset packs. But there's a way you can actually get up there, and you can't because I have the doors closed. Um, just kind of cool. Um, I did another version of this with the um, with another combat system where you can walk around with a sword and you're fighting zombies or skeletons or whatever, you know. But, cool. Um, just kind of recapping. Since this is the last stream of the year, I'm probably not going to stream tomorrow. Um, I, this is kind of like a recap of shit that was done this year. Paladin. Um... Um, I was doing a demo for him and retargeting and fixing his characters and stuff. Multiplayer template, multiplayer test. A bunch of things I've already deleted. Projects that I've gotten rid of and things like that. We've tried changing the menu system around and I think this is just an older version of the um, the simple multiplayer Steam template. Motion. This is another fun one that I was playing with. That was kind of part of what was going to be the um, the stream party. This was just another concept map area of that, and I released this kind of as a uh, check it out version. In other words just to see if this was kind of a thing. This is the Polygon Sci-Fi Pack. And let's go single player. I don't know why it does that, the character. 
before the shaders kind of kick in. You just walk around and occasionally whenever they stop, they'll stop and catch their breath. And aliens and cyborgs and... It's kind of like random music playing up there. Street sweeper, aliens, random debris on the floor. I'm just going to set this up as a full bar. You know, just kind of come in here and sit down. And I don't think I've got the chairs activated. Pleasure time robots. Got the girls dancing and waving up there. People chilling out, eating over here. The boy's selling his wares. Bouncer, dancers, music playing, bartenders. And if you get tired of walking around, you can just hop on your hoverboard. Because that's more fun, right? Now, if you notice up there on the, um, the video playing up top, that was just a test video to kind of proof of concept. And that's actually going to be um, part of my ad system, where it's um, actual videos that will play from YouTube or from wherever. Problem is, when you embed YouTube videos, there is no sound attenuations. So until I can figure out how to get sound attenuations to work on YouTube videos, it will have to be a different method. But the whole point was, you know, to be able to, to walk around town. But look, there's a rocket going off in outer space. And yes, you can see it's kind of rotating as it's going up in the air. And it actually has sound, too. And it's supposed to have an emitter coming off the tail. You can see I've got the videos playing all over. There's another rocket going over there. That was a three-minute build on a rocket. Don't give me crap. <laughs> You have kind of like a, a little bit of a slide whenever you're on the, uh, the hoverboard um, to kind of explore around and check things out. Some of the places you can go to actually have a spring pad so you can jump. I don't know, Zimpy's still here? Then um, you might remember one of the other projects I did that was um, the rotating dish, rotating sign over there. It was, um, you're running around, you can jump and shoot and rockets and all kind of crap like that. A fun little demo. But you can actually run around and explore some of the hidden areas. I was going to add some other things and like junkies or someone passed out or dead or whatever else. So you can wander around, check out the areas behind the map. Just, you know, whatever, you know. This was going to be part of the uh, stream party thing. You know, see, that was my whole goal was to create this, the stream party. That was going to be my thing as a, not really a game, but have gameplay elements. Um, have dedicated um, combat areas, things like that. Where if you're in a normal area, there is no combat. So you, you can't get trolled by somebody running around just shooting everybody. I screwed that one up because... Yeah, collision issue with the building. I want to have my videos playing in the background. Um, and advertisements playing on the screen. With or without sound. Different single stage pictures where it would just... A picture would, would show up on the screen for like 10 seconds and then go to the next one. That I could have full videos with sound and everything else too. Different sound zones. If you walk in, the sound attenuation, you walk in here. I didn't set up a crouch walk or anything like that. I love my sound attenuations. And yes, if you were to look in, you might see something going on there. Uh, I'm not going to say what. Ha, <laughs>
Uh, I just want Easter eggs. Little things here and there. Uh, what else? Mocap online stuff. Mixamo. Yeah, I was doing the, the putt-putt golf thing. Um, I had two different versions of the golf thing I was working on. And never really could settle in on it. And decided if I wanted to finish the putt putt golf thing. And was like, okay, do you have the animated golf club? Do I just do regular putt animations? How do you want to do your putting type? And you know, how do you want to progress from each hole? Or you know, just so many different avenues of things that I could do. Multiplayer third person template or third person shooter template. Um, there's Fortnite project. I did keep that. Okay. Um, can I actually go into that here in just a second? Oh, 420. I'm still working on this one. So we've got 420, 23, and 24. I'll get the 24 fixed with the simple multiplayer Steam template. I just haven't gotten around to it. I, I've been kind of busy with the holidays and computer problems and family issues and oh god uh, went bowling yesterday or day before yesterday I, hell I can't remember I'm old I'm telling when you can't remember shit right um, but when nephew uh, me and my nephew went bowling and when you're a fat ass and sit behind a computer all day long and, and do very little and then you suddenly decide you're going to go bowl like four or five games it wore my ass out <laughs> I'm hurting my calves, my arms, my I mean, everything. I feel like I got hit by a damn truck. I can hardly get around. Oh, good God. Can you take any freaking longer to load this project? We have the Blue Harvest project that I started with, and some other people were starting to come on board, but just not enough interest in it. And then there was a couple games that came out that kind of defeated the purpose, like Fly Me to the Moon, and... Um, the Mars Project. Uh, was it test map? I was doing a pirate themed map and using the the templates. But you know, this was like the, the test version of it. Hit play, and oh, sorry. Use the, the mouse wheel. You can see the the power level increase or decreases with the um, the mouse wheel and you aim your mouse and then you hit the ball and it resets back to a low power and then whatever you get it in the hole stops moving and then boop, it goes to the next hole uh, let's do it about 1200 not enough <laughs> So just kind of playing around with it, the transition between holes and, and being able to hit the ball different ways and maybe if you look down you might be able to chip it and that kind of stuff. Deciding whether you want it to actually come to a complete stop before you can hit and if you go out of bounds it's supposed to reset. Um, here we go, reset. Got a weird transition right there. See how it, it bounced when it hit that? See, it's not let me hit until the ball comes to a, a, a certain velocity. There we go. Um, why is it being difficult now? It wasn't doing it that bad. But like I said, I was working on this, and again, nobody had any interest in it, so I quit. So you, you could add all kind of different things to your transitions, reset your views, things like that. Ah, oh, I got robbed. But you can only hit the ball whenever it's at a certain speed. And that kind of shit. So, but yeah, that was actually a cool project, and I think that could have been cool if somebody was interested in it. Then I was going to do it as a template system, to where maybe I could put that on the marketplace and sell it if anybody wanted to do it that way. Then I started thinking about multiplayer version. I'm like, you know what? 
If nobody else is into it, then I'm not going to be. We did the clock thing with functional clocks. Um, I'll load that one really quickly, then we'll come back down and we'll take a look at um, Theater Project. Um, peek at that one too. Um, Um, the jetpack stuff that was uh, John Galt he dude smart as hell got some good shit man he was trying to do a, a steam template as well a little bit different version than, than what I use I kind of like mine but that was a fun project but the person I was working on with that one just has disappeared I haven't seen him in like three months or more so I'm not going to work on it anymore until he decides to show his ass back up again. Um, guess we don't need Mixamo back up anymore. We've got our animations. Are you going to load the project? I can load more than one, so... Uh, stream party there. 420, 502 Theater. Oh, again, this was another thing that I started working on. That, again, not enough interest in it, so if nobody wants to follow along with a project and jump on the bandwagon, then I'm not going to continue with them. Um, call it Minecraft. I don't know if you can get kind of a hint of what it might actually have been towards, but it was a Minecraft type deal. <clears throat> Damn. Coffee cold as hell. Um, but as I was starting with it, showing object placement and things like that, um, and snapping to, you know, I wasn't fully done with the snapping. It was partially there. Like I said, Nobody else seemed interested in doing it, so I said the hell with it. Come on a load. Well, it's taking its sweet ass time to load. Um, what I did was I went into um, Minecraft and I exported out some of the textures and I used them to make materials with. Oh, thank you for loading. Um, so, yeah, I got the. Um, bedrock and cobblestone and dirt and grass and that kind of stuff then made my own static meshes for it and things like that uh, map even where you can change blocks and hadn't got as far as doing harvesting and it's not like it's a uh, the world you can go in and actually just pull the pieces out this was something that I was working on as a static mesh to actually be a fortification section so you could actually create an actual map and have pre-built stuff you can place into the map you know, cobblestone blocks and wood blocks uh, shit she had involved back in. I don't remember what the damn keys and stuff were. Um, character blueprints. But you could actually put down blocks and just kind of, they would snap together. So what I was doing was um, client place block. I was setting it up for multiplayer as well. And what it was doing was using the, um, the FPS camera to draw a line. Um, I had death and health. Block placement. So left click to actually. It's not set up. But yeah, and that was just something that I was working on. It actually worked. I just. Oh, there's the clock project. Um, the clock project was. You can see in the bottom right hand corner of my screen there, it shows 11 17 p.m. And you look right there. 11.17 p.m. or 11.17 and 59 and it rolled over 
you notice how it also has 0, 4, 0, 5 instead of just 1, 2, 3. It's showing two di digit places. And the analog clock. No, I didn't put any numbers on it. And if I had a frickin' image with the face of a clock on it already, I could just put that in there for the material and make a material out of it. But that's the correct time. The second hand ticks and the uh, the minute the hour hands actually sweep, they don't tick to each um, spot. So in the clock video, making time, create an analog clock um, that you can put anywhere on your map, a digital clock you can put anywhere on the map, and you can see in the upper right hand corner of the view window, it shows the, the correct time. And you can set it up for 12 hour time or 24 hour time. So that was that one. Do, 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 do. No, that's not it. Um, we're going to look at Fortnite. Dynamic combat system. Was something we played around with a little bit, converting some things over. Um, Wild West, we already looked at. Um, car test. Some of these were just proof of concept, check, you know, checking things out, um, seeing if I wanted, to, if I wanted to do any more with it. Single player, multiplayer. Because I use this simple multiplayer Steam template for everything. And yes, these are. Yeah, the sound screwed up, but very poorly ported um, vehicles from Motor City Online. Because there was some interest in doing a remake of Motor City Online, um, I actually have better vehicle stuff now. And with the APOC pack, it came with a hot rod, a 32 Ford coupe there. And there's a. Uh, Camaro muscle car and there's some sport cars and that kind of stuff. You're screwed. So yeah, I was just playing around with different uh, types of movement for vehicles and vehicle templates and crap like that. Uh, Cardinal Simplicity, we looked at. Um, damn, there were some other ones that I'm pretty sure I thought I had. Um, probably deleted the main folders for him, and I did. You know, there's a bunch in here. Uh, World War II shooter, um, playable demo. Cog demo, don't have that one there either. Um, car test, we just looked at car th thing. Oh, um, I think this one I was actually trying to put all the different vehicles at the time from all the different uh, Cinti asset packs and there's actually more now than when I actually created this. This was from February of, of 2019. Oh, never mind. This is not that particular one. Space bar for power braking. This was totally unfinished as well. Everything is totally unfinished. And this was a different version, so it didn't actually have the um, the method of changing the map or the um, the rollover correction. Uh, let's see. Build demo we covered. AI enemies. The World War Two was actually kind of fun as a shooter, but you know, we could have polished it a hell of a lot more. 
Hover cars, that's something else I was testing. Moreland, another project that was abandoned and kind of turned over to somebody else. Um, the hotel. Uh, one of the things that I was doing was to get people interested in trying to join the team again. I'll open up this one here. FPS series, that was kind of cool. First person shooter with a target range. Uh, showcase this one really quickly and then I am going to get out of here I'm getting hungry hotel and what it was I actually did a, a video for this and I wanted people to be able to create this as a way of yeah these are idiot bots here Get away from me. Get away from me. Um, for getting people to... Why are you looking at me? To create a basic version of the game. Um, get away from me, you fools. Totally not even a finished version. You could actually teleport into the rooms. And um, the door you're standing in front of... You can actually go into. There's only three rooms. You notice that this right here is looking up at that corner. So if I come over here and walk down this hallway over here, go to this one. It's the same room. But what it was doing is, depending on which room you went to, you might actually go into one of the other of the three rooms. But the whole point was to create this demo, and it was a basic teleport system to get people to um, to learn the basics of creating a multiplayer interface in the game and to try to get people to join the team. And all you had to have was, well, of course, for the multiplayer portion of it to work correctly, you had to have my Steam multiplayer template, and you actually had to have um, just um, starter content. Nothing fancy. You didn't have to put the bots in, you just had to create the teleport system. Um, so yeah, that was it. Alright. I'm going to get out of here. Y'all got any questions? Discord is up. And all you got to do is just check it out. Come by Discord and um, say hello. Ask questions. I'll try to get to them as, as I can. Um, I'm going to be in and out of the house off and on for the next week or so. I am... I'm going to go ahead and order a 3D printer tonight, and what I'm going to be doing is, among other things, I want to start generating a little bit of revenue, and I don't make enough money from you guys, you broke-ass people. Love you, but you're broke-asses. Um, the UE4 mannequin, or um, the Cinti characters. And, um, I'm going to start th uh, 3D printing the Cinti characters. And I don't know what, what I should charge price-wise, because um, this is a resin-based 3D printer. And it's not as cheap as running a filament printer, but the resolution and the quality is a lot better. So what I'm going to be doing is... Say, if you wanted to get a... Uh, let's see. Whatever. Let, let's just pick this guy right here. You wanted the pirate captain, not with a fishing pole, or with a fishing pole, I don't care. Um, but if you wanted the pirate character holding a sword and in a certain pose, or doing his Captain Morgan with one leg up, or whatever. Or if you want one of the other characters from any of the other Cinti Studios asset um, packs. Um, I'm thinking, what, 20 bucks? You know, ten bucks, whatever, not including shipping. You know, I got to pay for shipping too, because uh, shipping ain't free. But you know, you get the English captain with the sword on the side, or hands, you know, arms folded, that kind of stuff. And since we've got all these different um, animations, can kind of showcase a little bit of that too. Um, so if you want the dude fishing in a single pose, just kind of pick what kind of pose you want. Um, 
you know, holding his hand in a certain way, saluting, holding a weapon. Um, if you want one of the guys from the... Yep, thanks, man. So, yeah, um, I'm going to talk more about that once I get the 3D printer in and print some of these characters. But I'm thinking either, like, $10, $20, whatever. We'll, we'll kind of all beat our heads together, see what's going to be a good price. And I'll, I'll actually get the... Um, the character, put it in a pose with a weapon or whatever you want on it, and then print it off. I think if it's a custom, I would say 20, and if it's just something that's already pre-selected that I've already got, because I, I have to go through and actually pose the character, put the weapon in, pose the character, that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of work to go into that. But if it's one like sitting in a chair and print them out with sitting in a throne or something like that, and the height's only going to be about five inches tall combined. So, you know, kind of go along with that. Again, discuss more of it later, but I, I think that, like, if it's already created and it's a list of already pre-created um, setups, then I think maybe 10 bucks is good. 20 bucks if you want a custom pose. I think that's fair. And as to generate income for me to be able to keep sitting here doing these videos, because I, I, I don't get any ad revenue or anything like that from uh, YouTube, thanks to all the frickin' hacks and pirates and, and thieves out there that are um, stealing everybody else's videos and rebroadcasting TV shows and doing makeup and, you know, all this other crap, you know, Regular people who are making their own content are getting shit on left and right and not able to make any freaking money, not get able to get any ad revenue. So with that, that's what I'm trying to do is supplement my, my little bit of income so that I can be able to keep doing videos and so forth. Um, on January 1st, I will do a video that will be a projection for the year, what I'm planning to do with the channel, that kind of stuff. Um, but tonight was just kind of a screw around. I wanted to, to do my last stream of the year, hang out with you guys, let you ask questions, do whatever, and then um, go from there. We've been going at it for about two and a half hours, so I'm going to get ready to take a break and get out of here, which y'all can catch me on, on Discord. Um, got any questions, get me up on there. I'm going to be in and out of the office for the rest of the evening, so if I don't respond, just give me time, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. I'm going to look for another stream coming up on the 1st, which today is the 30th, tomorrow is the 31st, which is New Year's Eve. So the usual Wednesday night stream that I try to do at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, since that's going to be on the 1st anyway, um, it will be the projection of, hey, this is where we're going to go with with me, this is where we're going to go with New Year's resolutions, how the channel is going to, to go from here, and what all we're going to be doing with other stuff. So... Look forward to it. We'll see you guys then. And I'm going to get out of here and go take care of some business. Love you guys. And not just when it's cold. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you next year.